So I just felt the need to talk, I guess. It's like 2.25 in the morning. Uh, Monday night, technically Tuesday morning, I guess. I lost the top to my pen. Oh. <sighs> so, I've been really tired today and I don't really know why. Maybe I'm dehydrated, I don't know. It's just laying in bed pretty much all day. Took Sinky and Violet to the vet. So I could get Violet's shots. She had to get a new microchip, get Slinky, her shot, and so that's good. Now I just need to take Kevin and he needs his shots so he can be good to travel. I had to take a cab, which I don't really mind, except they do because it was like an extra $40 I had to spend on top of the pretty much 200 it was at the vet and then I got home and I was just tired just really really tired and I really have some stuff I need to mail that I sold on eBay and I had class and I just couldn't be bothered to do any of those things so I sat in bed and worked on a crochet project and watched kitchen Food Network shows on Netflix. I just started getting really, really anxious, and this has been pretty common for like the past month ever since I learned I was graduating this semester and that my plans to move had been bumped up to much, much sooner than planned. And it's almost the end of October, so I've literally got two months until I go to Thailand. Oh, and I'm just really overwhelmed and that's making me very anxious and I just had like a massive pace pacing session around my apartment for a really long time and a little bit of a cry I just feel like I can't get it all done I'm sure I mentioned the biggest obstacles are finding someone to rent my apartment and finding a home for one of my cats. Those things I can do for my couch. I don't have to go anywhere to do those things. And so the biggest things that are stressing me out are things where I have to go places because I don't have a car and I can't I'm like 99% sure that I can't rent a car because I have amazingly bad credit due to the fact that after I got out of the military I couldn't find a job for over a year and so a lot of my bills couldn't get paid so my credit is god awful and I tried to rent a car last year and you had to have like a credit score of at least like 550 and I didn't even have that and so I'm hoping maybe a year's gone by, it's gotten a little better, I can rent a car, but I don't have an Arizona driver's license and my California driver's license expires in about a week and a half on my birthday next month. And I don't mind riding my bike places, but when I have to do stuff that's either really far away or that involves me having to bring things with me like the cats or donations to Goodwill or things I'm sold and I need to mail. I can't always do that on my bike and I only have one friend here in Arizona and bless her she helps me if she can. She's only 21. I mean she's got her own life. She's in college too you know. I don't expect her to drop everything and help me out. I wouldn't expect anyone to do that. I mean, I've never enjoyed having to rely on other people for anything. I can ask for help. I don't really have a problem with that, but I can't rely on other people. I don't know why I'm so emotional because I have a, I've gotten really stressed out over this past month to the point of like pretty much a panic attack, but I have a
haven't been this emotional in a really long time. I think it's all getting to me because it's just so close. It's so soon. Like, I've moved all over. Ever since I was 18, I've been moving pretty much by myself every time. But never out of the country. I've moved across country so many times. Never out of the country, and obviously not with animals going out of the country. Two months is such a short amount of time when I still have classes that I have to do well in, otherwise my GPA won't be good enough to graduate. And two weeks before I'm supposed to leave are my finals. And you know, you can say, Sarah, why did you book your flight so soon? Well, because as soon as I'm done going to school, I stop getting my GI Bill, and I can't afford to live where I'm living. I can pay my rent, but I won't be able to live. <laughs> I won't have any money left over. And so, I couldn't afford to stay here, and if I were to stay, I'd have to start taking classes so I could afford it. I think I feel more alone than I normally do. Like, I feel like it would be easier if I had someone, I guess, helping me or at least going through the process with me. It would be so helpful if I still had a car. I'm all about listening to the universe and understanding that things happen for a reason. And me getting in a car accident in September was a sign that I really should have gotten a bike a lot sooner because <laughs> I had been debating it in my head for months about whether to get one or not and that was my sign to get one and I knew I was I wasn't planning on buying a new car and so I haven't just overwhelmed it's a lot of work and going to the vet today, I was we were going over all the paperwork I need for the cats. And literally everything has to be done. Like within two weeks or ten days before you leave. And it's just so stressful because I wanna have everything taken care of. I don't want to leave everything to the last minute, especially something so important as getting your pet's paperwork so that they can go with you. So like, I have to make all these appointments, which means more cab rides, more money, to get them to the vet, and then go back to the vet to pick up all the paperwork after it gets mailed back to them. It's just... It's dumb. It's so dumb. I don't understand why you have to do it so soon before you leave. There's just so many things that need to happen in such a short amount of time. And it's like every time I think about it, I get overwhelmed. And then I think the biggest thing is that I have to get my apartment rented. And if that doesn't happen, the whole thing falls apart. And then that just blows my anxiety through the roof. And this happens. And I can't sleep and I start vlogging at 2.30 in the morning and make bad decisions. <laughs> I really want to do this. I want a change. I want to go somewhere and feel like I've made it. Not that I'm stuck somewhere waiting for the next thing, which is how it's been for so long. I want to go there and I want to just be free. If you knew the backstory, it would make more sense. <laughs> but that's a really long story. But the short of it is, I feel stuck here in the US. There's so little I can do. I feel like in Thailand I can be fully independent that's not what I mean because I'm independent I am extremely independent and I have been for a really long time I think I mean like burden free 
like just just free from everything and I can relax and be happy and not worried about when I'm gonna finish my degree or if I can find a job or where I'm gonna live it'll all just be simple and I want that so bad <laughs> Life has just been too complicated for too long. I feel like I was just thinking maybe I could I could push my flight back or forward to January. But even if I do that, it's still going to be the same thing. Like time's still going to pass and it's still going to get closer and closer to the date. I'm still going to have to do all the same things without a car. So that's why I feel like no matter when it happens, it's going to be stressful. It's just... It's just going to happen. If there's anyone out there that has done this similar situation to me, it would mean a lot if you had any feedback or advice or even just kind words <laughs> of support I don't know <laughs> I mean that's the whole reason why I'm making these vlogs is to help other people but maybe I really just need to help myself I mean I don't have many people in my life that's for sure hoping making videos can help that <laughs> I should go before this gets worse I'll talk to you soon